<laughs> hey, what's up? We're Rise Against. Uh, I'm Tim, and I sing and play guitar. I'm Joe, I play bass. I'm Todd, I play guitar. I'd like to talk about why I'm vegetarian. Actually, after years of my old band touring with the band Good Riddance, and they always had pita literature at their table, um, I started realizing that the meat industry is a very fucked up thing, and uh, I think that <clears throat> the idea behind uh, animals as just products, selling animals like that, is just a wrong thing. These are living creatures that feel pain, and I don't believe in, in, in that, you know, so I'm vegetarian. Like, I got into vegetarianism, um, just going to shows and picking up literature and just starting to read it, you know, here and there, and just the bits and pieces slowly stuck with me. And as I was eating meat, I'm thinking about the things I was reading, and, and finally I just stopped eating meat because it was just really disgusting. And, like the meat that you're eating is just like so many additives and like preservatives and so much, it's just so much disgusting stuff that, that you can find out all about in like pea literature. Um, it just makes like what you're putting in your body it's, it's, like some really gross stuff, it's just really disgusting like things. Far from around. healthy. <laughs> I've been vegetarian for about seven years now. Just got into it through friends and through PETA literature. And, um, I don't know, I think PETA and PETA 2 and all the related stuff like that is a really great way for like just people of all ages to get all sorts of different information about vegetarianism or veganism and animal rights. And it really gets a point across without being like, too overbearing or anything like that. I think it's really, it really does a lot of good. You know, it's something that once kids you know, read stuff, it would just make sense, like, not to eat meat, you know, it's not something, like, that we would have to force down anyone's throats, it just, it makes sense, it's not healthy at all, you know, it's just, it's not a good way to live. Yeah, I think it's the best way to do it, too, is, like, not shoving down anyone's throat, it's, like, um, the literature that people pass out, and other organizations pass out, it's, like, it's really, it's really informative stuff that you don't need to be, like, this is the way you must believe, it's, like, here, read this. You know, it's right there in black and white. You know, make up your mind for yourself. But I know that like I, I haven't even eaten in like I guess still like seven years. But like, some of the bands we tour with, like our meat eaters, and by the time they get done touring with us, like a lot of them stop eating meat. You know, and like start eating like you know vegan, vegetarian. Like it's great. It's like we can make it work on the road. You know, with, with like things like White Hat, Seven Eleven, gas stations. You know what I mean? If we can make vegetarianism, and vegans work on the road, like, you can make it work at home. All four members of Ice Hands, and I don't know if you can I need our, our merch card either, so our whole crew doesn't need it all. Yeah, like we said, the way we got into it was getting into PETA literature, and not just PETA, but any kind of any, any animal rights organization. Like, if you see the literature, pick it up. You know, if you don't read it that day, like, read it eventually. You know, read it, read it front to back, at least, you know, at least once. At least give it a shot and see what it says and see if any of it resonates with you. Yeah, the more, the more you see it, don't, don't, don't just ignore it. You know, don't be like, oh, you know, I'm not, don't be so close-minded, I guess is what I'm saying, you know, you can't really go through life that way. I remember one time I was getting tattooed, actually, and Tattoo Shop had, uh, like, PETA pamphlets in there, and that was right when I first heard about PETA, and I remember thinking, like, wow, this is really strange that people in this tattoo shop are concerned about this, and I'm like, well, maybe it's something I should, you know, at least check out, and then... So here I am, you know, I mean, I've, I've been vegetarian for four years. Yeah, we're going to be on the road all through the U.S. and Canada over the next few months, and just stop by the table, we'll definitely have peanut merchandise and uh, pamphlets and stuff to, to give the kids and help them learn a little bit more about it. Uh, Riseagains.com I have all of our tour dates. Um, our record, our second record just came out, it's called Revolutions Per Minute. Uh, it came out April 8th and um, it's out now, so we'll be out in the south with Shai Halud, Avenged Sevenfold, and Open Hand like, in the end of August. And then we'll, if you miss us on any of those dates, um, we'll be probably in your neighborhood somewhere between November and February yeah. with uh, Anti-Flag, No More Black, and Against Me uh, on a package tour on all of North America.